What's up YouTube? Today I thought I'd do a video on the Breda 92FS Inox, nicknamed the Ghost because of its all white appearance, excluding the grips. So this has got a stainless slide with an aluminum frame. Chambered in 9mm. Now this particular one was made in 1993 and it has some blemishes on it. There's a little bit of a mark on the front of the slide and it looks like the owner tried polishing the frame, messed up and tried covering it with paint. From what my FFL dealer told me, it was a lot worse before he started cleaning it up after buying it. So I thought I'd buy this thing as kind of a project gun, see if I can clean it up a little bit more, but it doesn't look bad. Now guys, if you see my video on the Beretta M9, I'm gonna be repeating myself a couple times because these are essentially the same firearm. And as you can see, they interchange just fine. But there are differences. For example, the 92FS has a steel guide rod, trigger, and lanyard loop, whereas it's all plastic on the Beretta M9. One of the biggest complaints on this firearm is the grip size. Uh, if, if you have smaller hands, reaching the controls can be a little bit difficult. For me, reaching all the controls is very easy. Now the big difference between these two firearms is the rear sight. On the Beretta M9, it has kind of a half egg at the bottom, whereas this has a three dot, but both slides have a non-adjustable front sight on it. So one thing I really like about these firearms is how they have an exposed barrel, which means there's less that the shell casing can get caught on as it's ejecting out of the firearm. It also gives you a better access to the barrel. Now, in my M9 video, I mentioned how you can put a round in the chamber and let the slide go home. And I had a whole bunch of people freaking out saying it was really bad for my extractors. Even if it's true, it's not an expensive part to replace. Now, if I was carrying it, yes, I would be putting it directly into the barrel because if you repeatedly feed rounds into the chamber, because you got to unload it when you come home, you know, you don't want it always to be loaded. You're going to over time push that bullet into the casing. And so I, I tend to just put it in the chamber so that the bullet stays intact. I know how to replace these extractors and they're not expensive. Now some people say since it's exposed up here that it's less reliable because more debris can get into it. And I've seen enough videos of people jamming these things up that I think there is some truth to that. But if this is your sidearm, I would hope you'd be keeping it clean in your holster. But I will say, if you drop it in mud or sand, you may have some issues. But I would kind of expect that either way with any firearm. Now one thing in my M9 video I did not mention is how you can use this little cut right in the front of the slide to pull back on the slide. Now uh, I prefer this kind of cut over aggressive uh, serrations. Now if you don't like a decocker safety, this one has it. And if you charge it like this, I can see how you can accidentally put it on safety. So it's got a double action, single action trigger, and just like the Breda M9, it's got a long double action trigger. And then the single action trigger is not terrible, but not great. The accuracy is about the same between the two.
When I bought the firearm, it also came with a Serpa holster. I kind of like that. Now, I wouldn't have bought one of these for this gun, but since it came free with the gun, I was actually really excited about that. All right, so the M9 definitely feels smoother than the 92, but that firearm has definitely had a lot more rounds to it. Disassembly is very easy. You push this button, turn this lever, slide comes right off. Very easy. All in all, I really like these two firearms. I really like having a pair of them. I think it's a fantastic, reliable firearm as long as you keep it well maintained. It is a fun gun to shoot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up. I got a firearm coming in that's going to be really cool. Hello, I'm a man round. I make your fun go away. Yay! You jackass.